Formlabs is a tech startup that's developing a desktop 3D printer and uh, we, we call it um, the first prosumer 3D printer because it's the first 3D printer that gives you really professional quality output but it's affordable and you can use it right on your desktop. The co-founders Max, myself, and David Craner met at the MIT Media Lab at this famous class called How to Make Almost Anything, focusing on digital fabrication uh, and, of course, 3D printing. We were kind of devastated that we were no longer going to have access to high-end 3D printing like we had at the lab, and uh, we're uh, frustrated of you know for the accessibility price, etc. And so we decided to build our own printer. So, you know, people don't have a concept of what is a 3D printer. Like, they hear it all the time, but it's really difficult to kind of imagine how it looks like. Part of what we're doing is uh, providing a product that, that is very, very accessible, that, 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 that you can, you know, for a, the, the price of your next Mac, you can, you can buy this thing and, uh, and just, start, just start using it out of the box. So we're really doing, like, actually three different startups because there's the machine, there's the materials, and there's software, and we need to build all those parts of it to make it work. Our software takes in uh, 3D models that you can generate from a lot of other types of uh, CAD software or 3D scanning tools, and so we kind of take in a standard file format and then print there. So depending on what you're doing, you can get that content from all different sources. The ink that you put in the machine is this liquid plastic resin. It's kind of like a glue that you, you pour in the machine and uh, that, that gets solidified and turned into your part. And so we, we develop that material and we sell that material as well. And one of the cool things about our technology is we can do, we have one material now, but we're going to do a whole range of materials with different properties for different applications. You can do materials for lost wax casting, for jewelry and dental, and you can do high temperature materials or high hardness or all kinds of different materials. We raised money before our Kickstarter and for a project like this we, we needed money to get to the point of the Kickstarter to get to the point where we could show a whole working prototype. This is why Kickstarter is amazing because we, we have direct link to to those early customers and they're blooming with ideas. And, and they want to help us. They right. Want, whatever, you know, whatever they can do to contribute back, they're willing to do. So they're really awesome for a set of customers. Our initial goal was uh, 100K. And I think we exceeded that after two or three hours. Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. And so uh, that was uh, overwhelming. Um, so to be clear, we thought we'd make it. Uh, but we certainly didn't. Uh, anticipate uh, such a response, which was amazing and very humbling, you know, from from a community of early adopters that basically, uh, you know, responded to our vision. I guess recently we like to think about, uh, you know, the that the best way to invent the future is to kind of, you know, m make it happen. I think, that's I think you meant the yeah. best way to predict to the predict the future is to invent, invent it. it, and so that's sort of what we're. What we're trying to do. There's a variety of ways to do a 3D scan of the jaw or the tooth. 